you, thank you, thank you. And thank you. The high people in the house, thank you. Anyway, this next um, comedian, very funny. This is her first time on the uh, MTV Half Hour Comedy Hour. You can see her do her comedy and uh, the improvisation and uh, the Laugh Factory up in uh, Hollywood, California. How about a hand for Miss Janine Garofalo? <laughs> Everybody. I don't trust myself to manipulate the mic stand, so I'm just gonna bend it rock star style. <laughs> so how are you? I'm gonna open with a question. I hope you don't mind a little unorthodox, but I need you to help me out with something. This is the universal sign for what time is it, correct? <laughs> right, it is. Please just soothe my soul and tell me that it is. Like out of the womb, it's like clean slate, but you know two things. This means what time is it? And when you're like at the end of a meal in a restaurant and you do this on your hand to the waitress, it means, could you please Bring a fork over and shove it in my buttock. <laughs> so anyway, I'm doing this to a waitress on Melrose today for like 15 minutes, and she's going, what? What? <laughs> what? She gets right in my face, and I go, what bone is this? <laughs> right here? This one? And she didn't know, so there you are. And then I'm ordering a salad, right? It's that simple. Ordering my salad dressing. Ordering my dressing. Busboy drops all these dishes. Tremendous clatter. Noise clears, waitress leans over and goes, hey, didn't hear you. Thousand what? <laughs> Thousand spoonfuls of Roquefort, duh. <laughs> what do I expect? I'm in Los Angeles. Attitude du jour. You know what I'm saying? You get in there. And I understand it. I understand that. Your, your, your wait staff is essentially actors. They're out of work. They're chagrined. You know, I empathize, but I'm giving you money. Act. Like you work here. How's that? <laughs> Here's my plate. This is my order. Go, be in the moment. Hot choices. Hot choices. <laughs> and you guys ever go to the medieval folk fair in Orange County, the Renaissance Fair? Well, they have them all over the, the United States, but they're a little bit different here in California. What it is, essentially, in a nutshell, is up with people gone awry. <laughs> you have, like, community actors donning medieval garb and taking themselves way, way too serious. Because I got in there and I wanted a Diet Coke, you know. So I approached one of the maidens and I said, excuse me, um, do you know where I get a Diet Coke? And she goes, pray tell, what is a Diet Coke? <laughs> well, that's, that's funny. You're not breaking character. That's good. Not breaking, very committed. Uh, do you know where I get a soda, please? What's thou like a goblet of ale? Oh, give me a break. You're wearing a swatch, okay? You're wearing a swatch. You're not fooling anybody. Don't make me talk to the king in Reeboks back here. Or it'll be go time, my lady. But, uh, okay, a little bit about me. Fine. Uh, raised, raised in New Jersey, left my home when I was about 17, and that's about 56 in dysfunctional family years. That's how that works out. I figured I'm gonna go to LA and get into acting and comedy and hang out with those people because they're a lot more mentally stable. <laughs> you hang out with comics, actors, I don't know if you've ever done this, but you go out late at night, you're having coffee, you're noshing, what have you, getting to know you, you're sitting around a table, it's like a psychotic poker game. It's like, okay, I'll see your alcoholism and low self-esteem and raise you one fear of intimacy and an ego trip for two. How's that? <laughs> Codependency. Woo! All right. Well, you know, you move here, and if, if you are very self-actualized, that's cool. But if you get here and you don't feel really good about yourself, well, you know how your mom said when you were little, hey, looks aren't everything. Well, you know, she was yanking your pud chain, basically. <laughs> Can I say Pud Chain here on MTV? I think it's okay. If they can show warrants cherry pie on maximum rotation, I believe I can say Pud Chain. Okay. <laughs> fair is fair. So anyway, you know, you get to uh, LA and, and like fitness is a big thing. I'm not into that at all. I don't condone it. And in fact, my cholesterol level is so high, you hipsters <laughs> might want to move back a couple of rows. That's up to you because you want to keep wearing the black. So, you know, and people in, in like aerobics, um, inevitably you're going to get somebody in your class who's really into it. Like they're going to be jumping around going, in an aerobics class, somebody will woo. In an See this wrinkle? That's not from aging or collagen or elastin breakdown. That's from me going, who wooed? <laughs> Go. You know? I, 
just hate the whole woo factor as we'll refer to it henceforth, if you don't mind. Like when you go to a rock show and the artist comes bounding on stage. Hey, how's everybody doing out there? woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Say the mindless masses in unison. We don't even know why we do it. It's like this knee-jerk reaction, but you don't do it in other settings. Like your doctor's office. <laughs> How you feeling today? Like light a lighter and hum a frisbee at his head and <laughs> buy a t-shirt, wait a really long time to use the bathroom, let the chips fall where they may. But I blame the media for this uh, perpetuating uh, that women have to be beautiful, you know what I mean? Vogue magazine. Fall fashion preview. Pretty is in. <laughs> well, thank God. Thank God attractive is finally the rage because I think ugly girls have had a free ride. <laughs> so I'll leave you with this. Renting some movies today. Learn from me. Don't do it. Cocoon. Rent a cocoon. What a farce. Four old guys, basketball, jump shots, nobody breaks a hip. <laughs> Don't buy it. The rest of it, yes. Karate Kid 3. I was so enthralled by that saga. I'm sorry. Um, I was so into it. You know, in fact, I wish there was a Pat Morita channel on cable. So I could just touch base with the old wisdom tooth every now and again. Thanks. Good night.